I'll be attending the University of Missouri, Kansas City for their uh, six year combined VA MD program. And uh, it's an accelerated program, so it's, uh, it's different from the traditional four years of college plus four years of medical school. But it was something that really piqued my interest because I've always wanted to be a physician. And the power of healing has always been something that I find very um, profound. And it's something that I really want to pursue. And this type of program would allow me to start that medical uh, education and that clinical exposure from day one versus maybe the four years of pre-med. So I found a program that really uh, suits my interests and I'm really excited to kind of delve into it. You've been a student here in Valley View since you were in kindergarten. Who is a teacher along the way that had a large influence on you and why? In sixth grade, my math teacher, Mrs. Rooney, she was phenomenal. And she would always apply the math to real life situations and make anyone, no matter if they liked math going into it or not, enjoy the subject. And that real world application was one thing that started to motivate me to say, like, hey, I want to try this out and that out. But she specifically saw my affinity for learning and she pushed me to do an independent study in math and science. And that got me into the accelerated program. And I think I've made many new friends and it's just been a wonderful environment. And she kickstarted that motivation that I have now today to say, I'm gonna pursue medicine and I'm going to do this. And to have that um, kind of drive to continue and go on, she really started that. And she was the catalyst for me to, you know, see what my passions are and act upon it and go with that motivation and love for learning and apply it as I go on. What's your fondest memory of Bolingbrook High School? In terms of the extracurriculars, I think um, Mathletes was one big thing for me because I've been in it all four years and um, all of my friends are in it and we've all kind of been a tight-knit community and something as simple as even the bus ride to a competition, no matter what the result may be, we always have a lot of fun singing and playing games and then once we're there, we go heads down and work our hardest and it's um, really rewarding because then we kind of got better and better as the years went by and that was really rewarding. <laughs> Throughout the country, the high school class of 2023 will have had one of the most unique experiences students have ever had because of the COVID pandemic. What are the things that you're going to take away from everything you've experienced over the last four years? When we went on lockdown, I think everyone was in a, a lot of shock. And with that, there was a mix of fear of, you know, maintaining our health and how our families are going to be, but also maintaining how we're going to do in class. And uh, for us, it was a lot of AP Human Geography prep and those last minute Zoom calls. But we got through it pretty well. And I'm really proud of us and how we had that resiliency. It just got more intensive with sophomore year being all on Zoom. And for me, um, being able to transition from the traditional desk to being in my bedroom. And um, I could imagine my husky in the corner, she's taking a nap, but then she'd wake up and stare at me like, like, oh, are you in a class right now? Maybe I'll bark just to see. With junior year, I think even though it was the hardest year in high school, we were all just so happy to be back together that that positivity and optimism kind of outweighed the, the negativity or the, any stress you may feel from courses. With senior year, I think we finally decompressed a little because it's more of the normal transition, kind of how we experienced the first semester of freshman year. So it's a kind of like the whole cycle of the pandemic from start to finish, and we've experienced it all. And I can imagine years from now, students may be looking back and wondering how high school students went through it. And I think it's really important that they know what we experienced. Our ability to create joy in the middle of the most daunting and unexpected circumstances gives me so much hope for our generation's impact on this crazy world. Our distinguished experiences are not only memorable for us, but will live on as April students decades into the future read the textbook chapter titled The 2020s. There is so much more that's yet to be experienced and so much we've already achieved. So let's focus on this very moment. Your dazzling red cap and gown. Your friends beside you waiting to come give you the biggest hug as soon as the ceremony concludes. Your loved ones teary-eyed at the thought of their little kid growing up into such an amazing person who has so much in store for them.